Hello, everybody. It's Chris here from Beginner Orchestra. Um, I wanted to show you a little bit more about StaffPad. I had some great response on my previous video introducing it. So here it is again. Um, you can see the interface here, and I just wanted to take you through a few more of the features. So I'm going to be navigating across the top uh, using my finger, um, and if I press the little arrow in the top left corner, you got a whole bunch of new things that pop up. So the arrow is sort of your key to navigation here. And um, I'm going to start off with the arrow facing down. So essentially you've got uh, a couple of really nice editing tools. So the first one is activating your Apple Pencil or not. So if I press that there, I get a whole bunch of features. So I can annotate, uh, I can use a pencil to draw. So if I wanna make notes, I can do that. And it will come up in blue just anywhere if I want to circle something, etc. And I, uh, it won't convert that to, to music, of course. So what I need to do is I just press the undo button there. And if I want to activate the Apple Pencil to write notes, it's a bit of a trick, but I find the easiest way is I press this little squiggle next to the, there's like a loopy lasso there and a squiggle. Press the squiggle, then I press the up arrow and it's activated the first um, the first voice. Can you see number one, two, three, four there? And there's a blue line under the one. So essentially I've activated voice number one in the composition. So if I go into the flute part, just by grabbing and dragging in there, I can start drawing my notation in. Now in the last video, I showed you that crotchets or quarter notes are placed in by just doing a little kind of dash and the stem and that will create some nice crotchets there. Now, if I want to create quavers straight away, of course, I can just create a stem between, and notice like I wasn't super accurate with that. It just, it's just pretty messy, but it picks it up. It's super intuitive. So if I just do a little slash of the stem, it'll, it'll pick it up. Uh, if I want to delete, I press on the note head, hold down and it deletes it and deletes anything I want. Now, if I'm in a quaver, but I want to make that a crotchet, I can just kind of press down within the staff and drag my pencil where the little quaver part of the note is, and it makes it a crotchet. Uh, if I want to make a minim or half note, I just do the note head and the stem, and that's a pretty obvious one. That's kind of easy to do. So it just becomes quite intuitive after a while. You get into a habit of what's what with your notation. Um, like I said before, if I want, oh, in my last video rather, if I want a crotchet rest, I do an S, that will give me crotchet rests or quarter note rests. Um, and then if I want, let's go with some semi quavers or 16th notes, as you would imagine, I draw in the two beams and boom, it just converts it straight away. Can move things around if I want. Um, let's say we want that. I can just draw in my slurs and ties and things. So you see there, that didn't work. So when it doesn't work, it creates a little orange stuff to tell you it's it's not worked. So just delete that again. Just try again. It's still not worked. And there we go. I needed to just do because it was a slur. Sorry, I needed to um do that across all of the semi quavers. So most of the time it just sort of works pretty quickly, but I found like if I do it really slowly, it picks it up well, but fast is just as as good. It doesn't really matter. Um, delete everything. I've just held down the pen and deleted everything there. Let's just draw in some quavers. Let's put in that quaver rest or eighth note rest, which is like a little seven. Um, there we go. I'm starting to create a little thing. Now, I like this one. I did do it in the last video, but if I want to do a minimum rest or half note rest, I just draw a line on the middle line of the stave. That's a bit confusing. Draw a line on the middle line of the stave and press away. There it is. That's a little important note as well, right? So when I make a note of any kind, if I draw something in, so let's say I want to make some quavers there, it will only activate it when I press away in the next bar. And that becomes kind of second nature. I sort of liken it to when you're at a cafe and someone's putting their, um, putting your order into like a touchscreen computer system. And you often see them tap the screen and tap away, tap the screen, tap away. 
And that's kind of a similar approach with staff pad. It's tap the screen or right on the screen and tap away. Um, I'm just putting in random things here, as you can see, but tap or draw on the screen or draw in the staff that you want in the, in the bar that you want, tap away. The bar that you want, tap away. That is the trick. What else would you like to know? Ask me some questions. Leave it in the comments. I hope that was helpful and gives you more of an insight into how to use StaffPad.